Hello everyone, Hippie here. So, here we have episode 3 of my Mass Effect 2 Let's Play. Uh, I'm soon gonna forget what episode I'm doing, so I'm just gonna stop saying what episode it is soon. Um, anyway, so right now my squad members comprise of uh, Jacob and like a half-dead Wilson. Um, but yeah, let's go. What? Did I just lose it? Oh, whatever. And the guys just like, don't know how to turn off this stupid, uh... There's a data pad? Oh, there. Ooh, credits. Oh, yeah. I can get, uh, credits for that. Alright, so I'm not knowing how to turn this off. Like... Oh, okay. So it's a system not designed for specialized ammunition. So... Okay, I have no idea what. what the <laughs> Quick scoped. Alright, so. Bring it! That's right. Suck it. Hit it like that. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, dead person. Access that. Grab that real quick. Highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols when you find two matching symbols. Okay. Oh, start bypass. Okay. Uh, Alright, this one should go here. And then. This one with this one. And then this one, with this one. There we go. All right. So I think I think I get twenty four hundred credits from that. Yeah. So it tells you the credits at the top over there. So, um, yeah. All right. Let's check over here if there's anything important. Um, which I highly doubt. All right. And then we'll head over to the door. And uh, let us see some good, exciting stuff right here. <laughs> Come on, through here. Hey, look, we're almost at the Wilson, Miranda. But you were. Yeah. Dead. Survive. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, survive. Looks like someone else is dead now. Wilson betrayed us all. Yes, I knew he was lying because he was. Whoa, that's a cool heads-up display or thing on my gun. Even if um, you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never. Well, wrong. she ain't. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jacob. Okay, that's kind of creepy, but whatever. I'm, was he was pretty sketchy. For a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. He's quite sketchy, and I didn't really trust him. So um, Come on, we had to kill him. Sorry. My boss wants We're gonna have to, to teabag to his you. body. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for. Shoot him a couple times and teabag him. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're Hell getting no, everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Um. I've had no. enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Oh, funny. Alright. So we're off the space station with a bunch of mechs. Heading back to some base planet ship fort thing. Where the elusive man is, or at least where I can communicate with him. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate... Check out those scars. What, we have to do this now? Glo she looks like Olivia Wilde. Ah, oh, that's who I was thinking of. I was thinking of. She looked like someone the entire time, and it's Olivia Wilde. She looks like Olivia Wilde. And my scars are amazingly cool because, um, basically, they're glowing dark. So they're, they're they're just cool. It's like glowing orange in the darkness. Most of my squad died in Look at that glow in the dark. That's so sick. I wish there'd been another way. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. 
Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Yep, so in this one, Caden is the one who died, not Ashley, so that's the default. Default's day, Caden. And I didn't do it casually, but I had to save as many people as I could. So that's like the same thing as what the comic the does. The, the comic does the, uh, the default, the, like the one that I saw at he least. I understand, Commander, and I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Cool. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there. And I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. Actually, the memories aren't really there. I don't exactly remember what happened. We'll have to hope the elusive man Not that well, at least. Field test as evidence enough. Too much to remember everything, but... Main stuff, I guess. So, this is the, um... Big, glowing, light, bowl-shaped spaceship. That we were heading on. The elusive Got some man Paragon. Nice. And, um, so we're going to go head over to the armor locker now. Oh, mm, 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 okay, alright, let's just leave it at this one. Okay, so the armor, we're going to leave no helmet, because I don't want to, um, I don't want to cover his face, because I actually like to see his face when he's talking and stuff. I think I just got a trophy for, uh, something, but, um... Ah, fashionista, yeah. But then, um, couldn't really, it was lagging. Originally created for Ur Earth's Urban Combat Championship League, so blah, blah, blah. Unique property, proprietary power cell that costs as much as a U EUCC rookie's contract. What the hell? Is it? Oh, mm, when I scroll, it moves too. The Edmonton Blood Dragons. Edmonton. Hmm, very cool. It's in Canada. Shepard, get well soon. Uh, increases power damage by 15%. <laughs> increases shield strength by 10%. Why is he turning with, like... Ah, I get it. Okay, because my going up and down wasn't exactly completely... Alright. Well, I guess we'll do this one, because this is the only one that actually gives me uh, some bonus stuff compared to the ones... The other ones, so... We'll stick with this armor for now. Um... The Let's talk to Miranda. The room. Oh, alright. I guess I gotta talk to uh, the other guy first. All I know is when you talk to the characters, and if you get good with them, if you get some good Paragon or, or Karma, in this, case, in this game it's called Paragon, get some good Paragon with them, um, they become loyal to you, you do their loyalty missions, and uh, for the guys, you get upgrades for their character. I think for the girls, you get upgrades for the character, too. But then, um, for the girls, you get a little bit of the uh, bang -ty bang on So... Let's try to achieve that throughout this Let's Play. That would be the goal of this entire game. Just to bang Miranda. I thought we'd be meeting or other face people. Face. Unnecessary and this is what I meant by uh, the cutscenes. I didn't like having this armor just because... Um, because we couldn't see the face. Like, it covers up the face and it's kind of like... You don't see the animations. But I don't mind because everyone's pretty much cross-eyed anyways. So, uh... I guess we're just gonna... We'll just leave it. Whatever. And um, the greatest threat of our brief existence. Yeah. The Reapers. Good to see your memory. The Reapers. Attack. How are you feeling? Cut to the um, chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring it? Whatever, it's okay. We're Edmonton war. Blood Dragons. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under Now maybe it's just my TV or something, but it looks a little bit laggy, like a little bit unsmooth. I don't know if that's because I've got way too many messages in my PS3 or a bunch of stuff like that or something. I don't know. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. I don't need a lot of convincing. I don't need a lot of it. Show me the money. if I could persuade you that easily. Go and see for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress. The latest colony to be abducted. Freedom's progress. I wonder if the elusive man is human. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Yeah, he looks he looks human. He doesn't look like a robot, but his eyes kind of 
a little bit uh, weird. A little bit weird, not gonna lie. Scholar, unlock 15 new Mass Effect Codex entries. It's not that bad, I guess. Very elusive. Ooh. Got. Alright. Getting some more stuff. I don't know what I just got earlier, but uh. Whatever. Let's go to our squad. Um. Okay, below my portrait. Okay, that's nice. Um, so we're gonna upgrade the operative. Uh. Oh, you can slow it on time with a uh, sniper. That's pretty sick. Okay, so we'll get that first. Um, then, uh, oh wait, I forgot about the rest of my squad. Wait, how do I? How do I check the? Uh... All right, I guess I can. Not yet, at least. Oh, cause we're on the ship, and then it doesn't show them at the bottom of the screen. So I guess, uh, I guess can't really do anything about that. Can't can't upgrade them or anything yet. So yeah. Alright, so here the animation just shows us landing on the ship, I guess. I uh, sorry, um the ship dropping the little ship off, little ship landing on the planet, us landing, it looks like a dog running, but there's us landing, and then we can investigate from this point on. In this well what looks like a desolate ice dead planet, but whatever, whatever. It's okay. Just doing my job, it just doing my job. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Uh, Our first priority someone could still be alive, survivors. you know. That's unlikely. You gotta make sure everyone's alive. No one was left at the other colonies. They were uh, ye of little deserted. faith, ye of little nice faith, you pessimist. Somebody. You don't care about anyone but yourself. You need a bullet down. between your eyes. I have to admit, the Edmonton Blood Dragon's armor does look pretty cool during the uh, cutscenes and stuff, though. So here we go. We land. It's snowy. Ooh, got them uh, Mercedes SLS doors. Styling. Got some plus two Paragon right there. I got a. Uh, what did I get? Um, the M92 Mantis sniper rifle. These are, they have such weird names. It's like they're all uh, Japanese. Shuriken Mantis Predator or like uh, some weird animal thing or I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the sniper and do some quick scoping, no scoping. Wait, what's uh oh that's cool it tells you the um the range of it too that is cool that is pretty cool all right so let's line it up all right it's pretty easy to quick scope that's cool just hope i don't run ammo too quick but uh i'm gonna save it here and i'll stop this video here